I just downloaded VS Code and want to build an iOS app to track my water consumption. I'll activate Copilot Free using the button on the Get Started page. All I need is my GitHub account. Copilot Free is now activated and it's time to start building my app. Copilot edits can help me build my first feature, a basic UI to track my water consumption. Let me describe what I want using my voice to Copilot. Create a beautiful UI to track water consumption. Draw a progress circle that shows the user's current consumption against their stated goal, and add buttons to increase and decrease water consumed in ounces. Provide a way for users to specify a consumption goal. Localize strings to English, Spanish, and German with XC strings, and ensure that all UI is accessible. Copilot generates the edits to my content view and creates two new files for my view model and localized strings. Let's review the edits generated. Our content view UI was updated. We created a view model for tracking water consumption and Copilot localized all strings to English, Spanish, and German. When we run the app in the iOS simulator, we can see a nice UI for tracking water consumption along with a slider to set a daily goal. When I set the device language to Spanish, I can see the strings were updated with the appropriate localization. Okay, now let's write some code to add a reset button. Copilot completes my thought and provides a suggestion with ghost text. Next, let's add support for metric units. I'll add some variables to convert ounces to milliliters and a bool to represent the user's unit preference. This next part is really cool. Copilot not only finishes my current thought, but predicts my next. It suggests updates throughout my content view to show water consumption and the user's preferred units. Just keep hitting tab, tab, tab. With the latest updates, I see a new toggle to use metric units. When the toggle is changed, the correct units are reflected in the UI, complements of the tab completions Copilot just suggested. I wasn't a huge fan of the look of the toggle. Let me ask Copilot to help with that. It also looks like we have a bug. When I change the slider from ounces to milliliters, the label on the daily goal resets to zero, even though the slider is set to 64 ounces. Let me ask Copilot chat for help with this bug. Okay, it looks like the problem is that we're not converting ounces into milliliters when the use ML setting is set to true. Let's apply this fix into the code base. And now running again, it looks like we fixed this bug with the help of Copilot. Our UI is localized and accessible, but how do we make sure it stays that way? With Copilot instructions, I can personalize my Copilot experience to fit the needs of my team and project. I'll add a new instruction sent to every Copilot request that ensures that all strings are localized to English, Spanish, and German, and that we only generate accessible user interface code. And I'll modify my settings to make this instruction active. All right, now let's add another feature that enables users to view their water history over time. I'll add in my current files as context. Copilot adds tab navigation to this project, generates a new history view file, and localizes all strings as per my instructions. Thanks to VS Code and GitHub Copilot, I was able to build out my water tracking app for iOS to English, Spanish, and German in just a few minutes.